Let's actually just get straight to it. So, for example, there are hero augments, like, uh, like let's say Kabuko's hero augment, that might transform whether or not he is a certain tier level versus another. And just so you guys know that I'm not bullshitting you, because, again, this is kind of like a challenge for you guys to see if you can guess my tiers. I'll give subs. I have it already prepared here. But I'm just choosing not to reveal it so you guys... Uh, so, so, so you guys don't feel like I'm being dishonest or anything like that. Um, so yeah. Are the tiers based on the individual? Oh, yeah, right, I already talked about that. Yeah, so basically, uh, it's it's like their their individual overall strength, but like their their. I mean, I'll tell you a couple things. Their traits matter. How valuable they are to be in a in a in a comp as a carry or as a support unit, like is factored into the equation. Uh, so on and so forth but it's it's a collective chat vote you guys are going to vote all together so it'll be kind of fun okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a poll and i'm going to write uh tier placements and the question will be s a b c or d okay and i do we want channel points to influence this <laughs> i don't know if i want channel points to influence because then then it might be like whoever just has the actually you know what fuck it just we'll just give people who spend uh you just spend 10 channel points if you want to vote additionally Actually, that might be too low. That might be too low. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do 50. 5x markup. I don't, I don't want people to just spam it. Okay. <clears throat> so this is an example of... Uh, this is the biggest... This is this is the big... This is, it, it, don't vote too much with channel points here because we're going to have a lot. Okay. Okay. Looks like we got a few hundred... A couple hundred viewers. So let's go ahead and start this off. So we're going to go ahead and have chat build this tier list. So we'll start off with one cost and the first unit is kabuko okay so for one minute please vote on where you think this kabuko belongs is it an s a b c or d and this is based off what you think i it's a combination of what you believe but remember this is you're trying to match it what my belief is about kabuko what my belief is about kabuko Oopsie -daisy. all right so <clears throat> And then we're going to do this across all the one costs. And then uh, I'll reveal it at the very end. This is with or without... No, no hero augments. Let me go ahead and actually put up uh, the explanation here. So let's see. Can I open up notepad? And then uh, portal around here. Okay. Uh, chat. Chat guesses my set 11 tier list context no augments portal slash or portal combinations overall strength no augments slash portals okay so save this okay so this is a context of what we're doing okay so you guys decided to put kabuko in b tier interesting you guys really think kabuko is that solid interesting okay uh all right and then let's go with caitlin same thing so caitlin what do you guys think about caitlin wait can i do like a previous poll again how do i how do i like rinse and repeat all right you know what? i'm just gonna build it up again poll it used to it used to give you the option to be able to do it like immediately like use a previous poll I'll, all right tier placement s a b c or d okay oh wow all right whatever okay so this is uh caitlin what do you guys think caitlin's gonna placement gonna be here this might take a while i mean it's, it's, it's just different content to do uh, as we're trying to warm warm up the stream what do you guys think what do you guys think where does caitlin actually belong caitlin 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 a tier a lot of people put in caitlin a looks like she's running away with it so far <clears throat> do we know when set 11 releases uh set 11 releases uh let me see today's attendant it looks like march 20th march 20th
okay we got a few more seconds a few more seconds i might actually take out the voting uh with points there i'm just gonna kind of make it very simple all right looks like a is the winner so a lot of people are putting it in a okay rexi rexi uh rexi s a b c or d start in the poll what do you guys think of rexi although it's kind of hard sometimes to recognize this rexi i will say one thing doing this tier list has helped me recognize champions a little bit easier oh yeah sorry rakat <laughs> <laughs> you can use nightbot for duplicate i mean this is fine it's, it's not a big deal where's f i mean d tier is okay let, let me clarify so s is uh like like the like, like d is basically like borderline unclickable and then like like s is like obviously like gonna be the best you can see in every game and then a b c a b c is kind of like good average below average i can actually maybe write like a little text here uh when i have time let me actually do that after this real quick then oh it's a tie between b or c uh okay rex i and c okay and then let me add like a quick text thing then real quick so copy this all right like top tier top tier i'll put this at like 15 font Okay, top tier, and then this is uh, above average. This is average, and this is below average, and then this is uh, borderline or like unplayable slash bad. <laughs> This is just give you help like an expectation range of like what these tiers actually mean okay <clears throat> we're talking about in general we're talking about in general okay so this is ari where do we think ari is right now oops c d Yasuo is probably the worst one cause. We'll get to Yasuo. We'll get to Yasuo. This is Ari right now. We're currently voting on Ari. We're currently voting on Ari. Wow, a lot of people think that uh, Ari is BCD range. That's interesting. I didn't expect it to be the case. <clears throat> Is this is account no 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 it, it, like not accounting for any portal like augments I'll, I'll write that in as well no augments portal slash bugs i think this is also fun to do kind of as like a, a little time capsule thing a lot of b's and a lot of d's that's a pretty big range it's a pretty big range okay <clears throat> all right here we go d wins by two votes wow some people think ari is like unplayable slash bad i uh i don't have ari and d just as a little as a little teaser i'll reveal it in a second uh, after we're done with this okay chogath okay what do you guys think chogath is cho s a b c or d Ari is good Sag. I, well, I'm surprised so many people think that she's she's so bad. I I'll just like I, I, as a spoiler, I don't I don't I didn't I don't have Ari in D. Uh. But uh Yeah, cuz like yeah, I, I don't I, I don't want I don't want to let you in too much exactly what I thought, but have you played her? Yeah, I played her a couple times. I played her a couple times. all right 15 seconds oh s wow wait a second it's a bit we might have our first s tier appearance you might have our first s tier appearance chogath in s tier unless he goes to b is it cho in s or is it b 
Is it S or is it B? One or the other. It's S tier. Cho'Gath, top tier. Top tier. Wow. It's B 100%. Yeah, I, I have Cho in B tier. <laughs> you guys, why did you guys go S? I had Cho in B tier. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys are you guys are crazy. Okay. Uh, no worries. Next one. Next one. All right. Uh, this is Siver. Siver. S A B C or D. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this tier list you guys okay uh based on this trend if you guys get any of them correct i'll gift out subs because i, I was worried that you guys were gonna get like 60 out of 60 correct and i would lose like 300 dollars today but based on the trends i think i might just give like uh like if you get one correct i'll give out a sub <laughs> we'll see we'll see how things are going <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right uh sever a b is currently in the lead or is it D? <laughs> uh. People are smoking crack. I mean, I think it's interesting, right? Cuz uh some if, like okay, I open I only open up voting for channel points if you believe it with so much conviction that you want to put points on the on the line. A tier for Siver. A tier for Siver, okay. All right, this is Darius. Coming up next, we got Darius. Darius, S, A, B, C, or D. Let me see right now. Let me see how many of you guys have gotten, uh, if you matched it with mine. Again, my tier list is not always correct. So far, so far, chat's gotten at least one right. Chat's got, or, or they've lined up with me on one of them. At least one of them. At least one of them so far. Okay, we got Darius. We got S, B, and D. We got, we got top tier, B tier, and D tier. Okay. It's like we got the entire range. We got the entire range. No one really believes in A and C. We got S, B, and D. <clears throat> oh, it's evening out. It's evening out. What's it going to be at the very end? It's so close. I haven't played PB, but I'm still voting that. I, I think it's part of the fun. You're just making predictions, right? Again, this tier list might look completely wrong in like two days because of the patches, but I think it's fun. Darius in S tier. All right. Here you go, you guys. Darius in S tier. Wow. Okay, uh, I do not have Darius Nest here. <laughs> I do not have Darius Nest here. Okay, uh, Yasuo. Yasuo, S, A, B, C, or D. Yasuo, Darius S is crazy. I mean, it, it, look, I, I only put points. You can vote with points if you feel with conviction, but... So far, we have two S tiers. We have Cho'Gath and Darius. A, we have Caitlyn and Sivir. B is Kabuko. C is Rek'Sai. And D is Ari. <clears throat> and this is not where you think it's going to be. This is not where you're not voting based off where you think it's going to land. It's more about like right now, if we were to launch right here, right now, I, I just want to see where chat, chat thinks. Also, I think it's fun to do this as a time capsule because somewhere down the road, we're going to look at this and we're going to be like, remember when chat thought like Ari was D tier and let's say Ari becomes like the best unit in the game. Who knows? Okay. Yasuo. A lot of people are voting D. A lot of people are voting D and A is A or D right now. A or A or D with a few seconds left. Oh, 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 people put Yasuo in unplayable and bad tier. Wow. That the disrespect for Ari and these are two of the most popular League of Legends champions ever. And you guys are thinking Yasuo and, and Ari. You think Riot's going to let Yasuo and Ari be bad? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Garen. S-A-B-C or D. <laughs> Dude, chat is losing it right now. <laughs> I feel like one of these is correct. Okay, I, I will. I will go on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leak a little bit of it. 
chat has so far lined up with two of my picks two of my picks it's not entirely off base but i at least owe chat two subs all right let's go ahead and look 30 seconds in 30 seconds in s and a okay garen right now people are viewing him as just being top tier Also, by the way, for what it's worth, I did ask a few respected players to help influence my tier list before I started streaming. I asked uh, like Dish Soap, Ramblin, Chaos, a few a few good players, and uh, I will say that the, a lot of the opinions that they say even disagree with each other and myself. So it's really really interesting. Okay, S S tier for Garen. Okay. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense that why people believe that because of how popular the Story Weaver opener is. So I, I can get behind it. I can go behind it. Garen in S tier. Uh, I do not have Garen in S. Okay. Next one. Kha'Zix. S, A, B, C, or D. Kha'Zix. K6. <clears throat> Does the tier list include champions and augments? No, no, no. In the top right, you can see, um, like right here, basically where, where I'm putting my chat. It's, it's overall strength, no augments, portals, or bugs to be considered right now. And also, uh, like, it's, it's a combination of tempo strength, as well as, like, whether or not you think it's going to be, like, a strong champion to play around as a core unit in a composition. Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix. <laughs> Literally, every time people are going to go S. I, our S tier is just going to be six units. And then everyone else is like A, B, C, or D. There's going to be more units in S tier than uh, than the rest of the tiers combined. Please remove the point. No, no, no. I, I think it's fun because if, if, if you... Don't you think points are the only way for you to make the correct decision? Because what if, what if everyone says like, okay, it's like D tier or something like that. And you're like, no, it has to be... It has to be like A tier or something like that. Oh my God. Cause our S tier is so big. Our S tier is so big. <laughs> all right, all right. Coming up next, we got, uh, we got Kogma. We got Kogma. Kogma. Okay, Kogma, S A B, another S tier. All right, let's just let's just let's put everyone else S in S tier. Yeah, let's put everyone else. Just just listen. Frodan has to give subs because surely he put some units in the S tier. So if you just if you just put everything in S tier, <laughs> just if everything's in S tier, then surely he, you guys gotta be right about something, right? Okay, Kogma, S A B, it's pretty close. Pretty close. I love I love how offended Raptor is right now in chat. <laughs> I blame you for I blame you for them nerfing needlessly large gem. I mean I'd believe it. An A tier. Okay. Kogma in A tier. Kogma in A tier. <clears throat> you know what'd be really funny if this ends up being correct. Like if chat ends up being correct. Because that's that's the whole point. This, these are just opinions. Okay. Uh we got two more one cost, and then I'm gonna reveal my tier list malphite s a b c or d malphite the rock big rock 35 50 points i mean look listen i don't have i don't have many things you can spend points on so if there's one thing that you guys can influence it's voting with the polls <clears throat> will we have an explanation of your tier list yeah of course of course i'll, I'll tell you All right, coming up on 20 seconds left, D. Wow, most people seem to unanimously put Malphite in D tier. Okay, not unanimously, but overwhelmingly in favor of D tier. <laughs> and of course, there's there's the S faction voters. 
there's there's a group of block voters wow this is turning into politics there's a group of block voters that just vote s every single time <laughs> i can't believe that now fight is simultaneously majority is voting d but then the second largest is s what a gap in, uh, in in opinion some people literally just believe that he's s and a lot of people are voting d oh my god exodia contributed 6400 <laughs> just remember that we we have an entire set of tier we, we have two costs as well after this guys we have two costs as well <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh no, oh, oh, we, we put him in D. We put him in D. Sorry, I, my bad, my bad. We put him in D. I was so used to putting everything in S. Okay. Last but not least, Jax D D. We got S A B C or D tier for Jax. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I, I, I was so I got so accustomed to uh, I got so accustomed to putting things in in S tier. <laughs> uh just like in politics the riches wins it all it's true the rich do influence the vote and let that be a lesson for you guys let that be a lesson for you guys <clears throat> okay we got 20 seconds looks like it's a runaway s don't have to uh, wait too much longer i do think that uh I do think that we have a consensus here. This is almost unanimous vote across the board, Jax, which uh, I too put Jax in S tier. Okay, so without further ado, okay, let me tidy it up so you guys can see. All right, so <clears throat> this is my one cost tier list. My set 11 tier list for one cost. I have Kha'Zix, Kog'Maw, and Jax in the top tier, S tier. Which, hey, you got two of them correct. You got two of them correct. You got Kha'Zix. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. And you got Jax. So there you go. That's two subs that I at least owe. But Garen, Darius, and Cho. I'm surprised that you guys put Cho in, uh, in, in S tier. Does anyone really think that Cho is in S tier? I put him in B, and you guys had it correct. All you have to do is put him in B. There's no way you put Ari on C. Oh, actually, I mean, I I, I think I, I I had her at B tier, but then someone convinced me to put her on C because because uh, a lot I, I don't want to actually say because I, that might influence the rest of your votes. But someone convinced me to put her in C. Okay, uh, let's see, Caitlyn in A, no, Siver in A. Okay, thumbs up. That's three. Kogma in A, but I put Kogma in S. I think Kogma is because I think Kogma reroll is very, very effective. And I'm pretty sure if the set were to launch, uh, Kogma reroll will be very effective right now. And also, Kogma is a really good item holder as well. And he has three triple traits, which can link to a bunch of different things. He's just, he's, I think he's very, very versatile. Uh, you guys put Kabuko in B, which is actually fair enough. I, I, I was debating between B or C, but I think. I just put Kabu I just generally don't think Kabuko is very good. And the worst part about Kabuko right now is, in my opinion, he baits you into playing Fortune. And I just don't think that most people should be playing Fortune unless you're like, you know, a, a god tier Setsuko player. Uh, you guys got Rek'Sai correct for me as well. I think Rek'Sai is in C tier. I think that's a good job. And then you guys put y Ari, uh, Yasuo, and Malphite in D, which is uh, mind blowing. There's an argument that Yasuo is even in the A tier right now. Uh, because Yasuo is really good for duelist and tempoing, and so uh, you can you can put Yasuo as an item holder, and he's versatile to both like you can you can kind of put him as like a carry, like a like a BT Hodge Titans type of user. You can also just put tank items on him. Malphite has really good traits right now, so I think like you know Heavenly and Behemoth just helps you splash in a lot of easy frontline, and he's always like an easy Tekken, so like he's versatile for tempo, and also um, Malphite is just a good addition. Uh, Ari, I think, is actually pretty decent so I, I, in hindsight if if uh enough ap players tell me ari is good i can see her being higher like maybe beat here <clears throat> uh rexi i think is solid as like an item holder but i i put rexi like i should probably put her higher in reality rexi should be like here like top of sc's here but i think rexi is probably a better item holder than kabuko and i think she's like solid i think cho is pretty decent as well i i think cho is like the best non-story weaver opener to play around uh in terms of the item holder of, for like a bunch of tank items yeah. 
So I would I would put that. Okay, so I owe four right now. Raptor, please keep tally. I owe four. I owe four for uh Kha'Zix, Jax, uh Sivir, and Rek'Sai. Okay. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and go into two costs. Let's go into two costs. How we bring up chat again? And again, this is all just early opinions, right? This is PBE, so like I could be really wrong. You guys could be totally right. Maybe, maybe half the one costs are in S tier. Okay. All right, so uh, two costs. Let's start off with Janna. She's currently first here on the list. A S A B C or D? Janna. This is Janna, right? I think so. Yeah, this is this should be Janna. What do we think about Janet currently? Dude, this Raptor guy is trying to influence the vote. He's trying to influence the vote. Just remember that it's it's not... You guys remember one thing. Raptor has two times the LP that I do. I'm 1,000 LP sometimes. This guy is 2,000 LP. So you guys should remember that he might have a correct opinion, but you're trying to guess my opinion. You guys watch me play the game. <laughs> all right s and b are the current two leads right now oh it's very close it's very close the last votes oh b by one vote oh my god b by one singular vote janna in b tier sullivan with the 2200 all right so far the biggest campaign donation we've seen the biggest lobbyist has been 6,500 channel points. All right, let's go Kindred. S, A, B, C, or D right now. All right, S, A, B, C, or D. All right, let me see. Uh, this is my current tier list. I'm going to move it down. So that way you guys don't see it. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, uh, after looking at the tier list, uh, I, I will say the person that disagrees with me the most. <laughs> one person that I talked to a few people, but one per one person uh, says that your list, like after we tweaked it, they say like, okay, your list looks kind of close to mine. But I will say one thing is that uh, uh, one res pretty well-respected player has a, has a pretty different list than I do in the mid in, in the middle parts in the middle parts because i think a through c is the hardest to define s s and d feel kind of easier to predict but a b and c are kind of hard okay oh wow 53 percent said s tier for kindred wait, 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 wait. that is uh that is really surprising i didn't i didn't have uh I didn't have Kindred in S. Okay, here we go. Senna for number three. Senna, S, A, B, C, or D. Senna. Okay. I'm just going to stop you guys right here. Please don't vote. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna... It's actually so many votes are actually split across the board. I feel like I don't want to influence it. Forty five hundred points. Who committed forty five hundred points? I missed that. I should start shouting out like a top donation contributor. Oh my god, everyone's voting D. D for Senna. Oh, I should actually probably update this. Hold on, give me a sec. That's a good point. Um uh, and then unplayable bad. Update this. Then let me let me make this open so that I can always have chat up here because uh, I, I I think having chat up at all times is actually super funny. Okay, <clears throat> D fifty one percent voted D for Senna. Are you guys serious right now? You guys are you guys are trolling you. You are, you guys are actually trolling. There's no way you think Senna is unplayable slash bad. <laughs> you guys are actually trolling. VXJ1 was a 2500. <laughs> you know what? VXJ1, thank you for looking out for my wallet. Thank you. My, my bank account, thank you. 
some of y'all really want Frodan to keep his money and to that I say thank you all right here we go s a b c or d no you guys are not getting get the subs for that son of choice choice I'll let you guys know that <laughs> K, I'm not voting more anymore you guys are making me so dude it's, it's, a, it's an anonymous vote it's, it's it's also for fun it's also for fun also as, as part of it is that these are all just opinions right it's a, there's a very strong possible look there's a very strong possibility that all of this is entirely correct okay I don't know about five one cost being an S tier but like uh it's it's, it's entirely possible that you guys are right it's, it's it's just a fun activity it's just opinion that's all does he have any notable point of seeing the yes yes because the person that the person that I respect a lot disagrees with me sees the tier list differently and says this is what I value differently so based off this evaluation lens I would say that it's based off of like these criteria and so from it like this part of the tier list doesn't make sense and I would put this one higher put this one lower so on and so forth <clears throat> all right Riven in S tier Riven in the S tier okay uh shout out to Perharsh with a lot of conviction 3500 points Riven S tier all right we we go to the Mo we go with T Mo C or S A B C or D we got Mo where do we where's Mo at where's Mo at entire chat failed on the test send them the way come on man be nice be nice be nice you have to remember one thing and one thing only that not everyone is as hyper engaged and plugged in to tft as we are man so like i i want i, I think it's really interesting because uh rem remember riot doesn't just balance off of straight up actual performance they balance also on sentiment so if like the sentiment is like let, let's say this let's say let's just say senna for example is like 50 through 53 percent top four rate and like 50 percent like very solid and balanced but the sentiment is that she's overwhelmingly bad we know riot historically will do a placebo buff or like a small like 2 ad buff to center or something like that to get them to play it which is interesting c tier for the mo t mo you're in c you're below average Maybe below average in height. Mercury Sky Dog, 1600. Okay, okay. All right, let's go Shen. Shen for next one. Shen is. You know what? Maybe I should start reading. I'm going to start reading some of their abilities just so that it feels like you understand what they do. Okay, Shen. For four seconds, Shen reduces damage taken by magic damage for Shen and for. Or for, sorry, for ability power for Shen and for adjacent allies. Shen's next three attacks deal bonus two damage based on of armor. This is what Shen does. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in a small little pocket so that you guys can see. This is Shen's ability. For four seconds, reduce damage taken by AP and for adjacent allies. Ghostly Behemoth. Do I'm gonna do the pulse? Oh, I mean, it, it's it's fine. I'm, I we we can do the, I can do the pulls, but if you want to take over, it's totally fine. Time knife shadows, but oh, yeah, okay. But remember one thing: we're not voting based off hero augments. We're not voting voting based off hero augments. S versus B. B tier. Man, I was I was thinking that you guys are just gonna put another set of like uh, every unit is an S tier. Okay, B tier is pretty solid. B tier is pretty solid. Okay, uh, the next one is Yorick. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Raptor. You got it. All right, we got Yorick. S, A, B, C, or D. Wait, are you allowing people to vote with channel points, Raptor? I, I want I want channel points influence. I want channel points influence. Okay, Yorick. What does Yorick do for anybody who forgot? Yorick. Come on, show it. Show it on top of the screen. There it is sap power from the two nearest enemies gaining max health and dealing magic damage to them over three seconds simple but yet is it effective s a b c or d tier this york unit is so bad giga f tier no no, no don't don't do five thousand points 50 points 50 points 
50 points not 5,000 not 5,000 Raptor he said to 50k five, Raptor oh yeah you can see <clears throat> 50 points man 50 points we got Zyra next we got Zyra next Zyra next. Okay, where do we what do we have? What do we have? Uh oh, the attack is not tools builder. Zyra. That's that's Zoe. Zyra. Summon two vine lashers that attack the nearest enemy three times. Their attacks deal magic damage and wound their targets for six seconds. Chat okay, finally got one right. Let me see. These are my one cost. Scroll down. Oh, I will say right now, chat has at least one thing correct. Redeem timeout a user. Wait, what was going on? Did everyone try to time it out? <laughs> uh. S tier Zyra. Oh, wow. 1750. S tier on Zyra. All right. Are we doing the thing where there's going to be everything in S tier again? We got Nar coming up next. Nar coming up next. Okay, so Nar, what does Nar do? Hey, okay, Nar, his passive is get TFT bonus. Uh, this is AD. You get AD. You get AD for every time you get attacked. Okay, this is not correct. Fling a boulder at the current target, dealing physical damage to targets in a line. All right, halfway through. Nar is a dryad and warden. A dryad, ta you know, tagging along things like kindred, for example. <clears throat> Why do I have to exit stream each time I vote in new pool? I don't know. That's I've never seen that before. Might be a browser thing. Are you on mobile? Oh, it's a tie between A and B. Oh my God, it's uh, it's really close. And A tier for Nar, A tier. Mercury Sky Dog contributing. Dude, Mercury Sky Dog breaking the bank for this one. Yes, it might be a mobile issue. Okay, we got Nico next. We got Nico next. So Nico, where's she at? Nico is here. Nico, hop into the air, reducing damage taken by a certain percent based on her level. And then healing HP over two seconds that scales with AP. Afterwards, slam down and deal 200, 300, 475 magic damage to adjacent enemies. Nico. Nico is right now eight. A lot of people say overwhelming eight tier. Eight tier. Above average. A for above average. A for above average. I don't understand you guys at all. <laughs> hey, chat knows best. Chat knows best. Okay, looks like uh, Nico's running away with A tier. All right, I think it's safe to put Nico in the A tier. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay, who do we got next? We got Kiana, Lux, and Aatrox remaining. Kiana, Lux, and Aatrox remaining. Whoa, 10,000 channel points for Nico. Wow. Okay, you know what? I, I think I can I can go ahead and uh, probably say it. Yeah, I, I actually I think I have Nico in A tier as well. I do, I do. I, I think that one's the easiest call to make. Nico very versatile, very uh, very easy to splash in. Pretty solid traits, good item hold. Like she she's just versatile. She's just, she's just solid in a good way. I might use the word solid to describe B tier as well, but she she's good. You guys got Nico bang on. Well done. Well done. All right. Uh, we got Kiana. We got Kiki next. Kiki, Kiana. Kiki, Kiana. Oh, looks like she's running off to A and C right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what Kiana does just to give you guys a little bit extra context for any uninformed and voters. For four seconds, attacks deal physical bonus physical damage to the target. So she gets an AD steroid. And then physical damage to enemies behind them. Kiana will dash to find the best angle. C tier for Kiana, narrowly beating out A tier. 
C tier for Kiana. 28,980 points by my moderator. Nice save here. Wow. 29,000 points. Holy moly. All right. All right, we got Lux. We got Lux. Where's Lux at? We got Lux. Throw a spirit bunny towards the farthest enemy, dealing 220 magic damage base. The enemies along the way reduced by 30% every time it hits an enemy. You guys know that. Every time it goes through an enemy, it reduces by 30%. I bet that was something that people didn't know until just now. Some of you guys didn't know. The first two enemies hit are stunned. That part I did know. If you put enough units in between, you don't actually get stunned. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's where we're at Lux. We're looking at her at S, A, B, or D tier. Some people really hate Lux. Oh my God. The D, hater, the, the D haters are coming in full force. Lux in bottom unplayable slash bad. Oh, wait, wait, the S tier. Oh, the last second vote by S10 doll. S10 doll. S10 doll. I'm going to tell you guys that uh, I'm going to tell you guys that so some people in these polls are trolling. Some people are, are, are saving you. All right, last one is Aatrox. Rodan? What do you mean? I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Aatrox. Uh, what does Aatrox do? Let me see. Aatrox here. Uh, Aatrox. 20% shred the current target for four seconds and then deal magic damage to them and then heal HP. So a little bit of shred, a little bit of magic damage and a little bit of HP. But don't forget that he has three tags, Ink Shadow, Ghostly and Bruiser. Ink Shadow, Ghostly, and Bruiser. Chat is voting for F tier for Froden. No. There is no F tier. Okay, if you guys vote F, it's going for D tier. Aatrox, there's no, there's no F tier. You can only go into... Uh, you only can go into D tier. What the heck? You guys put them in, in, in D tier? But all right, whatever. Okay, so those are the two costs. They're all done. I'm I'm, are we supposed to be going based on tags? I thought it was base power levels. Blueberry for 4,500. 4, I mean, it is, it is. If, if you, tags do include their baseline power level. Their, their traits do include it. Okay, here are my two costs. Here are my two costs. You guys ready? Oh, this is, here are my two costs. My two costs. I put Lux and Senna in S because I really believe a lot in what Senna opens up as uh, the Ink Shadow, as well as uh, her as an item holder. I think she's very good. And early game, you have a lot of ways to play Senna very cheap. I like putting Senna in S. I think uh, I think some other people put her in A, but I, I put her personally in S. I think very highly of her. Uh, Lux is also an S as well because I think she's really she's probably one of the strongest like early mid uh, AP tempo think ways you can play right now. So you guys got Lux and S, and you guys were about to put Lux in D. You guys were about to have my two S tier picks in D. Whoever juiced up Lux at the last second, you save chat because you guys are about to have both of my S tiers in D. <laughs> uh, in, in A tier, I have Kiana, Nico, Janna, Kindred, Zyra, and Aatrox. Uh, let's see. Do we have any of Nico? Nico is correct. I think she's very versatile. I think you guys put Kiana in C tier. I think Kiana is very good as well. And part, and I think she's actually some of the secret sauce of what makes the heavenly duelist opener pretty solid. If you're able to like go into duelist, because you need you need to you need someone to hold items until you get to um, Tristana. And I think Kiana is oftentimes the unit to do that. If you hit a two star Kiana, I, I think she's very very good. <clears throat> Particularly because she can hit backline as well. She, when she picks the right angle. I don't know. Maybe maybe I position badly, but yeah, she's good. Janna, Janna I debated putting an S, but her, her tags are really good. Uh, but I don't feel like... I, I don't feel like if you hit Janna early, you like play her, right? And I don't... I, I guess you could. I guess maybe I haven't really put items on Janna to see if I can carry her early game. But I, I, don't, I don't get Janna out of a box and be like, okay, well, I have to hold and play this type of thing. 
but her late game is so good that I uh, put her put her in A. Uh, what else? Uh, Zyron S versus A. I think that's debatable. I like I personally, if you think Sorry Weaver is like really OP and her tags are good, you can probably put her there. But I think her performance is an A. And let's see, we have anything else? B. We have Shen. You guys got Shen correct. C. You guys got Timo correct. Oh no no, I put Timo in B. You got Yorick correct. Okay, so one, or or one, two, three, four. Okay, I owe four more. Oh, I owe four more. I think. Am I counting that correctly? Yorick, Shen, Nico, and Lux. Okay, so that's eight so far that I owe. Let's go to three costs. Let's go to three costs. Actually, we need to do an ad break, so I'll be. We'll, we'll take a little bit of an ad break real quick. Three minutes. Actually, I'll just go ahead and explain a little bit more then while I have uh, an opportunity. Okay, uh, let's see. So the other two costs, I think Riven is uh, pretty good as well. The thing about Riven is that uh, I feel like... Oh, is it, do I put her in B? I just feel like she like her tags are really good. I should probably put her in A in, re in reality. I think her tags are so good that she should probably go to A. Because the more I play around, uh, like, Riven as, like, part of the, the mid to late game package with her traits being altruist and bruiser, it could be really, really good. So, I think, uh, I, I think, I think, uh, Riven being a carry is quite poor. Like, I've tried having Riven, like, hold, uh, 80 items, but, um, uh, I, I, I think she's actually, she's actually probably closer to A. Wait, we have 207 points contribute just for fun, nice. Timo and B? I think Timo is actually pretty good, though. Like, he's a pretty good item holder if you uh, give him AP items. Like, Lux is the best. So then who's the second best AP carry? Like, I guess Kindred and then Timo. I think it makes sense. I Okay, originally I had Yorick in D tier, but I think Yorick... Yorick might be underrated. Yorick might be underrated, but I, I don't... I don't I, I think... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Yorick is very good. He's my, he's my weakest two cost currently. Riven is the best trait bot I'm. Yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Uh, what else? You guys have Kindred really high. I think Kindred is uh solid, but not like I think she's like. If I were to actually place her within this tier, I think she actually goes like here, like towards the bottom. Because um, man, I'm getting more dogged again. Stop. Tell me, thank you for two months. Uh, because I feel like I feel like Kindred uh, is kind of hard to play in and out of because you're not really looking for like early Reapers outside of Kha'Zix. And while you can play around Kha'Zix, uh, it feels like Kindred doesn't naturally build into other traits a as easily. Dryad, Reaper, and Faded kind of like, like let's say you're trying to play Kindred into um, into like uh, another AP tree. It's a little bit trickier. But she is very versatile. I like her or them. I, I don't know. He? I like I like them. Any other notes about two costs? I think I don't think Nar is. I, I I've tried carrying Nar a lot of times. I think he needs a lot of st stars aligning. I could actually even see a case where Nar maybe cracks the top of C tier, uh, and that's about it. On one cost, I think the only thing I didn't talk about one cost. Uh, what else? Did I, did I talk about everything one cost? I think I did. I think Caitlyn is only good for preserving HP. That's it. I feel like she's not good item holder and she's not very reliable late game and you don't even want to play her in the late game. Uh, if you do carry Kogma, you're just like basically playing Caitlyn duo just to have her hold the AD items. Every time I've ever tried to depend on Caitlyn, I feel like I, outside of just like randomly sniping, she doesn't even kill units sometimes in the corner. And I, I think Caitlyn's kind of bad. Um, that was the only thing I didn't say. Okay, ads are done. Let's go ahead. Three cut. Oh! You didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that. Okay, let's go. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna count the anything that was leaked. All right, uh, let's go ahead and try start with the Moo Moo. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. What do you guys think a Moo Moo is? Let's go ahead and look at uh, the abilities. 
Amumu. Amumu, over the next three seconds, heal AP per second and cry on adjacent units. Every second, tears heal allies for HP and deal magic damage to enemies. Amumu, a porcelain warden. His name, his ability name is Herbal T Years. Okay, that one's a little, uh, that one's a little on the nose. Okay, what do we have with uh, Amumu right now? S tier, S tier being number one, S tier being number one. Oh, we have a tie between S and A. Okay, uh, a rare tie. What do we do? I guess we coin flip, coin flip. Okay, so if we uh, if we do if if it's if it's heads it's S if it's tails, it's it's A tier. Here we go, flip a coin. Heads or tails? Ready? Three, two, one, flip. And it's heads. Okay, looks like uh, Mumu's gonna be S tier. Okay, a loon, a loon, the next one, a loon, the next one, a loon, a loon. Uh, let me see. Okay. A loon. Come on. How come this is not consistent at all to show the abilities? All right, whatever. Rains meteors through the row with the most total enemy health. Meteors deal magic damage split between all enemies hit. Deal magic damage to the current target. And all enemy hits are 20% traded for six seconds. Grand attack speed split amongst allies in a loon's roll row excuse me not roll uh it is a tier according to chat all right okay uh we got alawi next we got alawi what do you guys think about alawi this is let's see um man i'm getting more dogged again E Lowy. Gain 400 shield and summon a tentacle near the current target for four seconds. The tentacle stands every second, dealing magic damage in a line and healing a Lowy for HP. I'm going to go ahead and just put every three cost that we haven't done yet so I can just stop doing this like scrolling thing. That makes it a lot simpler. Protean Raptor, stop influencing the poll. Okay, my bad. S tier. Draco, thank you for the prime. <clears throat> <laughs> raptor raptor don't 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 tell people what to vote man don't tell that that kind of defeats the purpose of what's going on here all right but this one is pretty obvious i'm pretty if you guys don't know that alawi is a tier, then uh, i don't think you guys have been watching much pb for the past few days I, th this one should be the easiest one alawi is like very very good there's an argument that alawi might be the like solo s tier <clears throat> there's a lot there's an argument that Lowey might be solo s tier so this, this one is pretty easy okay we got bard next mr bardo Huz bardo okay what does bard do meep meep for the next six seconds attacks said throw two meeps each dealing physical damage and magic damage Looks like A or B tier right now is a consensus. We have consensus. Uh, I spilled a tiny bit of water. Let me go ahead and. Uh... Okay. Oopsie daisies. All right, vodka has sparkling water. Looks like B is barely winning out. I'm Sharpie with the 2300 on Bard. 2300 on Bard. B for Bard. Aphelios. Aphelios is up next. Is it Aphelios or Aphelios? Aphelios. Dusk Wave. 20% sunder the nearest three enemies for seven seconds. And then fire three shots at them, dealing physical damage each with a faded bonus of 25%. If you don't know what the faded bonus is, it's like the bling bonus from set 10. You paired the faded units together by clicking and dragging Aphelios over another uh, faded unit. Then you get 
faded bonus of the two units. So Aphelios gets 25 for AD, for example. Thresh, who we'll do later on, gives you armor and MR, 20 MR. So if you combine Aphelios and Thresh, your faded units get 20 MR and uh, 20 armor and MR and 25 AD. Okay, where are we at in Philios? S tier. Wow. S tier or C tier? Wow, there's not a lot of in between, huh? S or C? S or C? I don't think people know the bar tech. What's the bar tech? What's the bar tech? Hits NA with the 4,900. Aphelios in C tier. Damn. I mean, the, the thing that you guys think that he's S or C is really interesting. Soraka. 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 Each time your team loses 20% of the total health, gain 10 ability power for the rest of combat. Her active. That's her passive, by the way. So she gets 10 AP scaling. Mana Reef. The largest group of enemies within range. Mana Reef meaning shrouding, right? Like increase your max mana. Then you deal magic damage to the center enemy and then magic damage to adjacent enemies. Heavenly Altruist units. S tier for Soraka. S tier for Soraka. Vote manipulation. What are you talking about? Oh, because it's S space Raka. People being able to add extra votes with points doesn't help. What if I told you that that's the only reason why some of you guys have got things right? <laughs> All right, looks like S for Soraka. Tom Kench. We got Tom Kench next up. Mr. TK himself, aka Set 11 Nunu. Tom Kench says gain an HP shield for, or just gain a shield based on HP for three seconds and deal magic damage to the current target. If Tom Kench has more HP than them, deal bonus magic damage or deal more magic damage instead otherwise gain more shield and it scales off of ap and hp hp tom kench unleash the beast unbench the kench unload the toad what do we have d tier or a tier some people either think he is complete some people are calling him a fraud in chat some people are saying that he's he's pretty good i mean a is a, a means he's pretty pretty good a tier it is blender comp op all right thresh the other faded unit alongside aphelios <clears throat> people hate this guy i mean it's it, it's interesting isn't it if anything isn't this kind of revealing to show you that like some people like either hate it or they think he's really really good and i think that's it's interesting that's a divided opinion that's pretty close uh thresh grant an ap shield to thresh and the lowest health ally for four seconds and deal a little bit of magic damage to enemies both thresh shares percentage of his armor and magic resistance with the shielded ally for six seconds there's a support behemoth unit shields himself another ally and then deals a little bit of aoe who are adjacent minions and he also shares his uh resistances for for a few seconds so kind of a pretty much a complete support unit and his faded bonus gives a little bit of armor and mr if you need him b or d tier and d tier it is d tier it is 1300 channel points by ken roku okay we got tristana next oh i'm interested by this tristana unit I think Justana has a lot of varying opinions. What do you guys think Justana is? What do you guys think Justana is? Thresh feels like a good tank, but faded feels bad. I think that's a I think I think that's a very fair uh, evaluation. That is pretty close to what I uh, what I think. <clears throat> Uh, 
D for Tristana is starting to grow. Some people really think Tristana is D. Oh, actually, I, again, I should probably do this. I, I, I need to straight up uh, copy this text so you guys understand. And let me go ahead and do this ahead of time for the four costs and the five costs. So people understand exactly how we're evaluating this. No, not, not exactly, actually. So this is more like the, the relative range. Fate is currently bug. Yeah, that, I'm saying I'm trying to trying to say don't evaluate things through the lenses of bugs. A tier for Tristana. 5600 by Romantic Rascal. Nicely done. Okay, uh Vola Bear. Vola Bear. You guys should if you guys have if you guys should know what Vola Bear is, right? I, I think pretty sure I'm pretty sure people know what Vola Bear is. Empower the next three attacks, the first two heal for health and deal bonus magic damage the final attack deals scaling hp and ap magic damage and stuns the target for one second why does this set feel worse than set 10 i don't know maybe you hate change maybe you're not good at set 11 yet maybe you're just a big music fan I don't know, maybe you got bullied by a paintbrush when you were younger. Okay, Vola Bear, unanimous S tier. I mean, if you guys got this wrong, I would, uh, I, I think, <laughs> I think I might never pull you guys again. Pretty sure Vola Bear is uh, disgusting. Okay, we got Yone next. Yes, you guys got you guys got Vola Bear correct. I can just go ahead and leave that. There, there's a couple of three costs that I think stood out that most people should know, but Alawi and Vola Bear were definitely uh, two of them. Okay, Yone. We got Yone. We got Yone. Okay, wow, a lot of C's and D's coming out. Not a love, not a lot of love for the Yone. I will say, uh, I see a lot of Yones on PB. It feels like almost every other game I see someone trying to reroll Yone. It feels like. I mean, he's a cool, he's a cool champion. What can I say? He's badass. But is he good? Is he good? One vote on S. Yeah, someone voted. You know, what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, jo I'm gonna join this. I, I feel bad. You're not alone. Whoever voted S for Yone, you're not alone. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, though, Yone is not S tier for sure. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Ugh. D tier, 5,000 points contributed by Big Cum Party. Wow. D tier for Yone. Okay, we got uh, Zoe next. We got Zoe next. Zoe in S A B C or D. S A B C or D. And then uh the last one's Diana, by the way. Where do people feel about Zoe? Let's go ahead and read her ability. She's a triple traded story weaver, fortune arcanist. Kills increase the number of ricochets by one for the rest of combat. Fire a missile dealing magic damage to the current target. The missile ricochets to the farthest unit within two hexes dealing magic damage. So as she gets more kills during combat, she deals more ricochets. 60 mana. <clears throat> Statistically, all the ones should be C or below. That that's assuming all of them are correct. D tier for Zoe. Unplayable slash bad. Zoe. Interesting. I wonder why I wonder is, is it because is it because she's fortune? Man. That that is that is some that is some big time hate on uh Zoe. Okay, Diana, the last one. Diana. The big D. Diana. Diana is a Dragon Lord Sage. Heals. Uh, heals health based on her AP and creates a one hex sacred zone around Diana for four seconds, taking 30% reduced damage from enemies outside the zone. 
so if she casts a little bit of a hex range anyone that attacks her from outside like uh like a range carry deals less damage to her when the zone is up diana's attacks deal bonus magic damage okay some people voted d which is uh outrage I, you know i'm gonna vote one c just because it looks like no one's voting c whatsoever it looks like it's almost across the board basically unanimous s tier and uh looks like we're counting down the last couple seconds unless someone wants to contribute a crazy amount of points for something else okay looks like she's gonna be an s tier okay uh and i agree i'm pretty sure diana is also in s tier as well okay so with that being said let's go ahead and reveal my three costs and i think you guys might have seen the very top of it okay so my three costs were Alawi, Alun, Volibear, and Diana. And I wanted to put Soraka in there as well, but I kind of evaluated and thought I am much more likely to play around one cost versions of these units than one cost Soraka. And so I, I just feel like they're a little bit better. You can even argue, some people are arguing that Alawi is S plus tier and that she's kind of by herself. But I don't think Amumu is S tier. I don't think Amumu is S tier. I think that's uh, surprising that a lot of people were kind of going for that. So you guys got three correct in S tier. Uh, we got Alawi, Volibear, and Diana. I mean, that's those are the big standout performers for sure. Uh, in A tier, looks like we got Tristana correct. I'm surprised you guys put Tom Kench so highly. I, I don't think Tom Kench is that good. Uh, Tom Kench is like, you know, not 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 that amazing, but all good. Uh, Bard in B and then I put a Mumu, a Zoe and a Philios. These are like I, I think these are entirely reasonable units but they're not going to like pop off and go crazy. So this is like uh, an area where you know I kind of thought that you guys were going to I thought you guys were going to get B and C correct. You guys are like putting so much in S or like in D. I think you know what if anything this kind of reflects a little bit of like the opinion of uh of the masses, right? It's like either like broken or like trash unplayable. There's so much more in like the A, B, C tier. And then everyone's like, ah, it's got to be, it's got to be D if it's not S. Uh, you guys did get Thresh though in D. I do think Thresh is quite poor. I, I think uh, Thresh being uh, very, very, very poor. Okay. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to four costs. Don't reveal the four costs this time. Here we go. Four costs. Alun is not S for sure. Dude, did you guys, did you, I, I personally think Alun is very good. Rain's meet, she does, she, she does AOE. She shreds, the attack speeds. She buffs the whole team. Like her traits buff teams. She kind of does it all. But you could argue that she's an A tier. You can argue that she's an A tier. All right, we got Galio first pick. Where we got, where we got Galio first pick Galio first pick uh actually I should put up uh Galio's uh thing right okay so this is Galio stats Haunt enemies within three hexes and then gain armor and MR for four seconds. He's immobile and unstoppable during this time. Afterwards, deal magic damage to all enemies in the range and gain, grant a shield. So he gets, he taunts, gains, gains tankiness, and then also shields his allies. All right. Looks like they vote A for Galio. Galio in A. Just barely thousand points by romantic rascal annie annie's the next one up i'm gonna go ahead and put all the four costs up here annie annie for the second one passive heal hp when burning an enemy active on first cast hop on tibbers gaining max hp and stunning enemies within two hexes for 1.5 seconds deal magic damage burn and wound enemies within two hexes for eight seconds so she heals when she's damaging a burning enemy and when she casts she burns enemies so she kind of heals by burning them also a really good source of anti-heal if you don't have it 
so she has some utility there uh and she can deal some reasonable damage she can do some reasonable damage because of the burning s for annie currently in the lead right now chat is coping with galio and a <laughs> Where they, what do you mean they're coping though? Like, where, where are they trying? You, you think is it like do they want Gallo to be a? I don't understand what they're coping about. All right, Annie in S. Annie has believe it or not, Annie was one of the more contentious uh, units. There's a big debate between whether or not she was an S and A tier. You guys will find out later on. There's a little bit of a debate then between that. Ash, where is Ash? What does Ash do? Dead Ash. Rain of Shards. Passive. Start with 15 arrows. Gain one to three arrows for every three attacks, depending if she's a one or three star. Fire of Volley. Split between the current target and the three closest enemies within range, dealing physical damage per stored arrow for a total of three man i'm getting more dogged again damage and that of course continues three to scale with more HP. Okay. and you get for three months okay so where are we on ash it's a porcelain sniper a s a b c or d a is currently in the lead no way people think ash is good interesting okay uh a for ash dead ash all right we got kaisa we got kaisa next where's kaisa kaisa is an ink shadow trick shot fired 20 waves at the current target over two seconds dealing physical damage to the first enemy hit if an enemy is hit by 10 waves they take physical damage per wave instead where is kaisa where's kaisa kaisa is trash i kind of like kaisa rage blade kaisa endures sus is kaisa s tier b tier or as some people say is she trash just an observation but eight raptor loves ap as compared to ad that is true that is true pretty big divide in terms of like whether or not kaisa is very good kaisa is mid there's a few people who think kaisa is trash anyway people are building rage blade on kaisa oh they are they are actually if you go ahead and look at lol chest for a second for a sec here look at pbe trends look at best item builds look at what the number one item people are building on kaisa okay they, they technically put the tattoo of bombardment but the second most popular item they're putting on Kaisa is Rage Blade. So you're saying like, ain't no way they're doing that? Oh, 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 they're doing it a lot. They're doing it a lot. S tier for Kaisa. Hey, it's a TFT set, right? Is Kaisa even allowed to be anything less than S tier? That's what chat thinks. All right, we got Kane. We got Kane. 65 by Doot Doot Doot. All right, so uh, we got Kane coming up next. He's a ghostly reaper. Shadow assassin on first cast transform dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. Wild transform gain 30% critical strike chance and critical attacks damage adjacent enemies. Okay, let me be that again. While transformed after, after he cast, he gains 30 crit strike chance and all his critical attacks damage adjacent enemies so they cleave if the spin only hits one enemy the damage is now increased by a hundred percent on the critical strike chance it does. uh subsequent casts deal physical damage to units in a line through the target and stuff a little bit of a tricky unit to understand a little bit of a tricky unit to understand s tier s tier for kane wow s tier for kane by like a lot of votes and a lot, it's, it's s or d tier by according to a lot of people i'm just uh, i'm ready i'm ready to see it s tier for keen wow i'll let you guys know i did not put s tier for keen 
the birch with 12,000 channel points oh my god hey hey diverge clip this moment for when kane eventually becomes s tier he's not s tier right now but uh when he eventually becomes s tier so that way you can like remember when everyone doubted that kane was not s tier all right we got lee sin coming up next lee sin coming up next we got lee sin coming in hot dragon's dance kick the target spirit out of their body i think that might be the best eight words to start off an ability that might be the best eight words to start off an ability kick the target spirit out of their body dealing physical damage that is scaling with not only ad but attack speed attack speed and ad both skill those so the more attack speed and ad you get you get more damage uh 30 percent mana reading them which is higher than some other mana reef keep just keep that in mind he a lot the base mana reef for a lot of abilities is 20 percent like soraka leeson is 30 percent and then stunning them enemies hit by the spirit take that physical damage and you gain a shield for three seconds he's a dragon lord and a duelist s tier by romantic rascal this is actually pretty close. A lot of S, A, and D. Okay, who's putting Leeson in D tier? You guys are just trying to save me money, and I appreciate that. But, like, Leeson is not D tier. Some of y'all are straight trolling. Okay, uh, Syndra. Syndra is up next. You want to account for uh, tags are part of it yeah tags are part of it herself of course it's 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 baseline power level no portals or augments that are like trying to influence it right because part of it was like what if you get like a hero augment or something like that and it's like well that that changes it then just just putting it out there you guys have put four units so far in s tier so if you put a syndra in s tier it's uh <laughs> We have five, we have half the four cost in S tier. If you guys if you guys are putting your just 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 put it out there. <laughs> All right, let's read Sindra's ability. Phantom butterflies passive start with butterflies and gain one for each cast and her active she throws all the butterflies at her current target and deals magic damage for each one and she gets a 12 percent aided bonus c tier for Syndra narrowly edging out s tier I mean maybe the nerf hit her really hard Silas Silas is up next umbral bruiser man unchain the demon dash around the target and slam dealing magic damage and healing for for health scaling off of ap and then swipe twice dealing magic damage to nearby enemies is it actually i don't know does, does is it each swipe deals damage or is this is the double swipe dealing that damage so this is, is this actually 100 base x2 or is it just he does a double animation and that's it <clears throat> FYI, more dog said Syndra is the best four cost in the game still. Interesting. That is fascinating. A tier. A tier. 5800s by Captain Mort. Captain Mort. Silas in A tier. For what it's worth, by the way, one of the players that I talked to agreed with you. One of the players that I talked to thinks Silas is actually quite good. All right, Morgana. Morgana coming up. Morgana coming up. Let's read Morgana's ability. The Tempest Torment. Create a blizzard around a random enemy that deals magic damage over three seconds and chills for one second. Chill means reduce attack speed by 10%. Kind of a little bit like Frozen Heart, but not not nearly as pronounced. <clears throat> Was it Ramblin? That is correct. Ramblin believes in uh, in Silas. It was Ramblin. Nice call. Uh, that means you either watched Ramblin, heard him talk about it, or uh, you just know him very well. 
so this is one of those things where like whoever puts Silas in a this is against popular opinion but you might be right morgana and s tier i mean you guys know this right morgana and s tier this one was the easiest to call out of all the four costs for sure okay uh orn orn up next by the way we have no b tier <laughs> We have a, a B C. We have no B tier. We have one C tier. We have eight units and A and S tier. I'm just putting this out there. I, it, it's actually so funny that you guys just keep stacking S tier. More than half of the four costs are S tier right now. People think the same way they think of Zed and he's a bounds unit. You mean set 10 Zed? Yeah, I want I want to try more Silas today in PVE. I definitely want to try a little bit more Silas. I want to try more Kane because apparently Chad thinks it's S tier. There's some use I haven't played much around. I haven't played around much Kane. I haven't played around much Silas. I played a good amount around Kaisa, Morgana, uh, Syndra, and Lilia. And the forecast tank you always just splash them in. So in terms of carries, I have to try these two. Uh, I haven't played much Yone to be quite frank. I haven't played that much of found Philios. I need to put him. I need to play around him more. But yeah. D tier. Oh my gosh. D tier for Orn. Wow. I did not expect that one. I'm not going to lie. I did not expect the Orn for D tier. I didn't even talk about Orn's ability. Gain a shield for four seconds. Channel and forge unstoppably over two seconds, dealing magic damage. The adjacent enemies were duration afterwards toss an ephemeral completed item to the nearest ally and that item is tailored yeah i did not i don't have orn at d tier i definitely do not have orn at d tier nautilus send three shockwaves towards the most enemies in a line dealing magic damage and stunning all enemies hit for 1.7 seconds all the way up to eight very simple straightforward he's like the Thresh or Jarvan of the set from set nine and set ten. Uh Sijuani is often compared, you know, compared to just like just a four cost AoE stun champion. Mythic Warden. Okay, what do we got? A tier. A tier for Nautilus. Overwhelmingly A tier. Three, two, one. A tier it is for Nautilus. Having a laugh. Finally, we have Lilia, the lone, the lone unit left in four in tier four right now. <clears throat> what do we have for Lilia right now? Her ability is Eep. Hurl an orb towards the current target, dealing magic damage to the first enemy hit and adjacent enemies. It continues rolling as a smaller orb, dealing magic damage to enemies it hits. Every third cast launches a mega orb at her target that deals magic damage and splits into three small orbs that roll towards the farthest enemies so she's a pure carry not a lot of utility and she she keeps hurling orbs that deals aoe right because it goes through the enemy and his adjacent enemies and then her third cast launches a big mega orbs so you want her to cast three times if you can her third cast if you, if you kind of think about ezreal from set 10 right his third cast is like the big impact one kind of similar to, to lilia here about her third high impact cast S tier. Oh my god. We're gonna do that. We're gonna have six four costs in S tier. Chad is just voting S for sexy. <laughs> Night Savior. Night Savior contributed 8,000 points. <laughs> what, is, what is this tier list, you guys? <laughs> All right. Here's my four cost tier list. Uh, now, admittedly, I, I'm ready to walk back the four costs because I think part of it is not right. So after after talking to some people, I don't think even my list is correct, but th that's not the question. The question is, what do you think I wrote down when I was at when I was working out today? I wrote Morgana and Annie as S tier. And I think this is this is probably going to be this should probably be the baseline understanding of what the popular opinion is. If you don't think Morgana and any are S tier, then I don't think you guys have played a lot around four costs currently. They're very, very good. Um, Ash, uh, Leeson is really, Leeson has really good tags 
and he's versatile with his item holding but i just think morgan and annie are a tier above uh and i and i also after after playing around a lot of ash i think ash is also very very good um because ash doesn't really need anything besides her traits like her baseline trait like you just get like two portion two sniper and you can play like anything else and ash can go in like a lot of different stuff and she's also really powerful if you're able to tech in like around her exalted in some capacity if you just have if you just have an excuse to play around ash and alawi like because allow is is, is uh, a warden and you can kind of like tie it to like a porcelain arcanist it's just very very good in my opinion you are really yeah yeah i know i know like i silas is the one that i'd probably change and this is because admittedly i haven't really even played around silas a lot so i need to play around him a lot and i, and I said that uh, specifically i think i need a lot more games on silas so i think this is probably my this is probably my worst take out of all my lists i, th I think you could probably say there's like some things that are not really correct but if there's anything that's like a bad take, I think this might be my bad take. Uh, Kane at C again. This was probably debatable. I'm not entirely sure. I, how do you guys have no units in B? This is this is blowing my mind. You guys have no units in B at all. I mean, you guys are just straight up trolling by the end. You guys know that Nautilus and Lilia were both Bs, right? Where's your? Oh, oh, Orin. I put Orin right here as well. I, uh, you can. I I can actually show what I wrote. But I wrote. Nautilus and Orn are basically kind of like uh, the same. Okay, I don't have him in D. That's for sure. Like Orn is not D. Orn is not D. But I, I have uh, I have Nautilus and Orn kind of like here for like solid four cost tanks to play around. They're not as good as like Annie and Lee Sin or Galio. Galio got A, so we got that. <laughs> Orn and D. Okay. Last but not least five costs last but not least five costs or no nautilus is a cc bot but orn is what there's there's some people that think orn is better than nautilus because orn what what we don't understand about orn is the second half of his uh thing the fact that he tosses a tailored item and you can almost manipulate that based off of like the way you itemize is really strong so for example let's say you're playing around like silas as your secondary unit you can like kind of like you can kind of like make you can kind of play around that concept because he's the nearest ally and he's a melee champion so you can have him give silas that third item so it's like so it's, it's it, the utility of this kind of thing i think has a lot of potential this is why i think orn is underdeveloped right now in terms of understanding the great heavenly sage wukong the great heavenly sage wukong where do we think wukong is s a b c or d d tier for wukong d tier for wukong to start things off wow that is a that is a spicy take to, to say that he's unplayable and bad whoo I don't know about that one. Okay. Set. We got set coming up next. Five cost, by the way. I, I, so five cost, I think five cost uh, on tier lists are some of the hardest to have like uh, a, a general consensus on how to rank it. I think a lot of people have their own different versions of what they make a five cost, but there's no way you can say Wukong is D tier, you guys at worst his tags are quite good <laughs> he's a heavenly sage like at, at worst you can say he's like pretty good like with his tags like I, I can understand like if you don't think he's like s a or even b but to say that he's unplayable and bad like come on you guys <laughs> uh. oh man all right where do we have set where do we have sets Set is A. Okay. A tier for set. A tier for set. Captain Mort again with the top contribution. We got Irelia coming up next. Actually, I haven't even been reading uh I haven't been reading their uh their abilities. Give me a sec here. Add the five costs. The thing about Wukong is that a lot of people feel like you can't really get a lot of value off of his abilities because he's just, you have to like 
you have to like get so much going you have to like cast multiple times for him to th like, throw out the staff and spin and dash I, I think I think they just don't really understand Wukong very much but like the heavenly sage tags are so good and then for sets I mean I think he's really fun but also the best part about set is that he does uh his AoE stun that's the best part about it if you if you can get him to uh start popping off with damage as a bonus Irelia 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 attack sends blades that dart between enemies dealing physical damage and 30 percent thunder for five seconds cast every eight attacks and then she commands the blades to swiftly strike it's like the whole hermite splines things uh dealing physical damage and applying on hit effects aka red buff and things like that oh s versus b tier oh my god thirteen thousand channel points okay okay cement guy cement guy who did you what, 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 what did you vote for what did you vote for a s or b cement guy was it s or b you put you're doing it 13 000 point you put it b all right i really is in b tier damn azir 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 is one of my favorite units this set uh, just putting it out there in terms of like uh what he does i think he's really cool fire a beam through the current target dealing magic damage to enemies and then you spawn a guardian adjacent for the first enemy hit with a certain amount of hp the guardian does not move or attack so basically he sounds like a target dummy it's a basic ability but like i don't know I th he just feels cool to me <clears throat> hey hey no no flaming other chatters for how they're voting it's not like you guys uh, have ever had like uh always 100 correct takes B B for Azir okay. all right we got Huey we got Huey a few more five costs a few more five costs oh I'm, I'm not even necessarily going over their uh their active traits either like their their unique traits so for example for Huey uh Huey is an artist so he like duplicates the champion on the bench but his active ability is create an expanding paint pool around the most units that heals allies within for a certain amount of hp based on ap every second for three seconds so he does three ticks of healing after three seconds it explodes dealing or healing allies within again and then dealing magic damage so he's a big time aoe healer with a little bit of aoe nuke a little bit of an aoe nuke He is the same as Lux in one of the previous sets. Ain't no way. I mean, that, that's definitely an emote waiting to happen. All right. Quay in A. Quay in A. Quay tier, if you will. Ain't no way. Like the Family Guy segment. Cool whip. All right. We got Lissandra. We got Lissandra. Where's Lissandra at? Oh, we voted S? Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. S, S, S tier. My bad, my bad. So I, I kept I kept seeing the A's in chat, my bad. I didn't look at the pool. Let me go ahead and look at pool. Lissandra, Lissandra. She is the the item printer this set. Let them brew. Steep the, <laughs> instead of let them cook. Let them brew. Steep the current target in a teapot. Amazing. Stunning and dealing magic damage over a few seconds. If they die, there's a 50% chance that Lissandra turns him into a loot orb. So she's like Tom Kench. She's like Kiana. Otherwise, Lissandra throws a teapot at the largest group of enemies, dealing magic damage to all enemies hit. So if you don't get the loot orb, you get a giant AOE as well. S versus A. S versus A. Oh, and A takes it at the last second. Captain Mort. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of individual votes. Okay, A it is. A it is. We got Rakan. Now, Rakan is separate from Zaya. Just putting it out there. Rakan is not tagged to Zaya. But if you want to say, for example, because you get to go between Rakan or Zaya, that influences the way you vote, then uh then let that let that affect your way your vote dash into the largest group of enemies and deal magic damage to enemies in a two hex range 
gain a shield for each enemy hit for two seconds and reduce your damage by 10 seconds or 10 percent for four seconds wow 10 seconds so he he's uh he does what he does in set three so he, instead of disarming he does a bunch of damage and also uh reduces their damage even the pull meter knows <laughs> what is this 800 votes for s all right we have more votes than uh people in this chat not suspicious at all all right uh rakan s tier very oh, easy and straightforward more dog thank you for the raid man thank you for the raid we're actually putting together a really fun oh man more actually i hope you don't leave immediately because uh you would love to see this tier list that chat put together you would love to see this if uh if we put it together as a list like so, so, this is this is what chat has voted for we're almost done we're almost done okay uh rakan is in the books uh who do we have left we have udir we have udir a new poll we got to vote for udir vote for him. what do you think where udir is currently where is udir and i define and the way this tier list is voted based off of no augments right not not like hey you have a hero augment that makes like, york a lot better we're not evaluating that um we're not evaluating off of like a portal like hey in this portal like these units are it's just, it's just generic overall strength a tier for Udir. A tier for Udir. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. EJ, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, now here's the last one. It's Zaya. Where is Zaya? Where is Zaya? I gotta read Zaya's ability just so you guys know. So uh Zaya throws 12 feathers at the four closest enemies, each dealing uh 50 physical 56 damage physical damage that scales with AD. Then recall the feathers dealing AD slash AP scaling physical damage to enemies they pass through. The trick shot, she's a dragon lord, she is a lover. What is going on? This S or D tier only. <laughs> Wait, you guys put the poll as the worst legendary in the game? I feel like our poll workers are biasing the vote. I feel like they're biasing the vote. D tier it is. I can't help but feel like this election has been tampered with. <clears throat> but. <laughs> You're not wrong, actually. You typoed caught, but bot is also a good way to describe. Uh, uh, a good way to describe this. Okay, so uh, what, what what ends up happening is I'm also showing what I think my tier list is, right? So here's the big reveal. Here's the big reveal. This is what Chaz voting. And if they get any of them the same as me, I'm gifting subs in chat. I owe chat subs. All right, here's my five cost tier list. Okay, so... I agree that Rakan is an S. Uh, I mean, if anything, Rakan should be solo S tier. Udir, I think, is also very, very good still because of how good he is to just give you instant frontline in a lot of ways. So I like it. I like Udir uh, in S as well. That's personal preference. I mean, I, I think that S slash A could be argued. Uh, Hui is also really good. There's an argument that Hui is, is also an S tier. I think I just put him in A tier because, uh, I don't think that there's like three S tier five costs. I think Rakan is so much better that, if anything, I should probably just move Udir down to A, but I didn't. Uh, and then Azir, I think is pretty solid. I think Lassier, Azir, Lissandra set is like a really good core. Like to, this is, I think the, the baseline level, they feel strong, but like not overwhelming. And I think that makes sense. And then Wukong, I mean, Wukong is uh, only, I put him in C, but he probably is actually in B. No matter what, he's not in D. Like, okay, the thing is you guys are putting, things in D means you're unplayable bad, but uh, 
you're, you're making it sound like like just you can never play them which is just not true d is just insane like you guys are making it sound like these units are actually just like completely Zaya might be d i don't think so i i don't think so. also if you find zaya in shop that means you found rakan so how bad could she really be how bad could she really be and also uh zaya is still a dragon lord and you know she's, she still has good traits can't uh like like it's like you can't really put even really put Zaya that far down because she gives you half of her con <laughs> where is Irelia she's uh and she's here this is Irelia she they put they, they voted to put her in B okay so I you guys got Rakan correct and then you guys got Azir correct so that's plus two so where we're at where are we at okay so if you guys want to recap at one cost they put Cho in S tier which is wild this is my I can show you my expanded tier list here at this point so uh my tier list was Kha'Zix, Kog'Maw and Jax in S tier and chat put Garen, Darius and Cho there which was I don't even know why they thought Cho was S tier I think I think someone was just straight up trolling but uh yeah I think Cho is solid I don't think he's like terrible some people some people put him in D uh Ari and Yasuo and Malphite and D which is wild to me I, I don't understand how you guys could think some of these things are that bad they're actually pretty good uh so I, I think I owe four subs from this one uh two costs I put Lux and Senna I do think that th there's a there's a lot of argument for like how you value things like if you think Janna is really good because of her traits and Zyra I could see them being S tier for example because their traits are really really good um I don't think Kendra's S tier though I think Kendra's if anything I think Kendra's a little bit overrated based off what people think uh and I think that I put her I put put Kendra at the bottom of A tier but Kendra's like solid as an item holder I think York's like, the weakest two cost independently but um there's so main argument that Yorick actually ends up being a really good unit to attempt to include in for a lot of the comps um because of like different like circumstances that sur like surround like Exalted for example so like Yorick could actually be a lot better but his his standalone power is like he's not that impressive so like that's like that's like something that i did for, for reference i talked to like a few people about this to come up with my own i think riven could probably go higher because her tags are that insane and i think like Aatrox could probably be a little bit lower but you know he's really good early game tempo because uh, uh his traits um and also i value center pretty highly but i think that's probably the my hottest take for two costs i think i just think very highly of ink shadow and senna i just think it's so much free so much free tempo uh three costs this one is not actually very hard at all this is the one that chat almost nailed like chat knows Alawi's really really good chat knows that volibear bear is very good chat knows that diana is really good uh just on a tier right so these all like made sense bard and b tier uh it just it, it, it is funny to me that they put so many in d like here's a big gap between like good playable units and then it's like most of them else are just like unplayable bad when you get the york augment he's a absolute beast but the thing is like we're not evaluating based off the augment you're not you're not wrong that like hero augments can make a lot of these much stronger but we're not uh we're not evaluating them off of like a specific augment because then you can say like well technically any of these could be really good if you get like the right augment right like you know uh maybe you get something that's really good for like you get kabuko's hero augment is he the worst uh one cost to play around probably not at that point he's like that okay so i put yone in c people are putting in d you, you think yone is a lot of people don't like yone they think he's hot trash okay uh four costs Morgana and Annie is what I have solo in S in four costs because I think they are a tier above the others but a lot of these four costs people love look look at this four cost spread we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten four costs in S and A tier <laughs> nothing in B tier <laughs> just Syndra and C tier who Mortog says might be the best four cost in the game still and then Orn so yeah four cost is where like we started off okay with Morgana Annie they got those right but uh it tapered off <clears throat> and then five cost is where you guys joined him okay so what do you guys think what do you guys think that was uh the chat tier list let's go ahead and play some PB viewer games 
You can set that up real quick. I also owe... How many subs do I owe, Raptor? Let's see. Gif. How much do I... How much do I owe? Raptor was keeping count. 19. I owe 19? Wait, how is that even possible? You guys got two right... Three... Two, three... Five... Oh, actually, I think you're right, actually. It might be 19. 19 subs. Oh, my God. $95 gone. Congratulations, chat. Prodden just gifted 19 community subs. W. Glaze. I'm a man of my word. You got 19 correct. Congratulations. All right, let's play some PvE games. How do I do this? Play PvP. Wait, I can't play right now. What? Can I join James Jellyfish? You are unable to join the party? I think I have to I think I have to exit and re, re, re log in them. Also, it'll be a really fun time capsule to go back to reflect upon it. Alright. PvE. At Frodan, thanks for the gifted sub. No problem. I'm a man of my word. Most 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 streamers, TFT streamers, just say they're gonna give uh gifted subs to bait you to watch in the chat. <clears throat> but I'm a man of my word. 